Hey there, everybody. It's Linnea. Today, I'll be using the Simon Hurley Create Christmas in July release to create a set of five easily mass-produced Christmas cards. So I'm going to start off by just quickly stamping a little branch, and this is from the Swirly Ferns stamp set. This is a background stamp, but it's one of the peel apart backgrounds. So there are multiple pieces that will peel apart from this background stamp set so you can completely customize a background. Now, since it is red rubber, you wanna make sure that you remove that foam insert if you're using a Misty. I do recommend, since I'm going to be stamping multiples of a card, I do recommend using a Misty. Now, at this point in my card making process, I had a completely different plan. I wasn't planning on making multiples. I was planning on doing one fancy background and that was going to be it for this video. But as I started building my card, I decided that I would be quick and easy just to do a set of cards and kind of modify my idea. So I stamped that Swirly Fern stamp and I used black ink and I stamped that hanging off the right hand side of the top portion of my card. And now I've grabbed the Brilliant Bobble stamp set, which is a clear stamp set. So you do want to remember to put your foam uh, background piece back into your Misty, which I forgot to take it out, and then I forgot to replace it. So definitely remember to pop that in and out. I've taken that stamp that has that hanging ribbon or twine, whatever you want it to be, and I've put that in my Misty so that I can hang a bobble off of my Swirly Fern stamp. But I only wanted to have the bottom portion of that little ribbon. So I masked off my branch with a piece of purple tape, stamped that out, and then I grabbed a bobble from the Brilliant Bobble stamp set and stamped that right underneath. So now I have an ornament hanging from my um, little fern there. Now here's where I decided to change my design and I decided to just stamp a bunch of these different bobbles and create five different but similar cards. So all I did was I went through and I stamped that swirly fern hanging off the side of five backgrounds, and then I masked and stamped that little hanging ribbon on five backgrounds, and now I'm going to go in with the Brilliant Bobble stamp set and just switch out these different bobbles so that I have five different designs. I'm just stamping one, taking it off, and then lining up another one and stamping that out until I have all five of my backgrounds complete. Next up, I'm going to do some coloring. Now, you could definitely do any method of coloring that you find easiest. You could do watercolors, colored pencils. I chose Copics because I originally had planned to do Copics on my original card. So I stamped all of my images on some Simon Hurley Create stark white cardstock, which is perfect for Copic coloring. So I decided to just Copic color all five of these backgrounds, and really there's not a lot involved, just the fern and then the individual ornaments. And since I'm mass producing this, I have some coloring tips to make your life easier when you have to color an image for a mass produced card. I chose to do, these images are simple. So I chose to just do two colors for each, or two markers rather for each color blend, which keeps my life simpler and easier. I did switch up the colors of the ferns a little bit. So I have two different colors of ferns, but for the bobbles, I'm coloring every single one of them with the same four colors. For my reds, I'm using R29 and R27, and all I'm going to do is just start with my darkest color, my R29, and just kind of add little bits here and there of my darkest color. And then I'll pick up my lighter marker and just blend that out until my whole image is colored. So for every single bobble, I colored them pretty much the same red baubles with gold accents. I love that color combination for Christmas and in fact I have decorated my Christmas tree with the same ornaments in the same color combination since I moved out of my parents house 12 years ago. So I, I just love this color combination. I think it's really classic to have red and gold together. So I went through and I colored the main portion of my baubles with my red markers on all five cards. And then I came in with my gold color combination, which is Y26 and Y28, and colored all of the accents on all five cards. So when you're coloring mass-produced cards, you want to keep it simple. Choose maybe two markers and choose the same colors if you can. So that way you don't have to keep putting markers back and getting new ones out. So here's all five of my cards. You can see each one of them has a different bobble, but they're all the same set or the same collection of cards. 
I did also stamp a sentiment, and those are from the Brilliant Bobble stamp set. I have Deck the Halls and Joy to the World. I'm going to add a little bit of glitter because I think every Christmas card should sparkle and shine. So I added liquid glitter over each ornament and over all of the swirly ferns little twig there coming out. And then I added some gold gems on every single one of the cards. The I added gems all over the backgrounds and then also to the ornaments that I thought had places that would kind of lend itself to placing a gem, like the center of the bobble on the previous card and then kind of like if they had a geometric pattern, I would accent that with the gems. Otherwise, like you see with these last two cards, I just did a scattering of gems across the backgrounds. And that's it. All five cards, quick and easy and simple, using the Simon Hurley Create Christmas in July release. And I just love this brilliant bobble stamp set. It's one of my favorites from the release. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.